You take a look at our Sunday morning papers. I have some exciting guests joining me in studio. It's a table full of comedians. Conrad Koch, Chester Missing, who'll join us a little bit later, as well as Tracy Lee Oliver. And of course, our very own journal, Kylie Klekumalo. Before we chat, I'm going to go through uh, the main headlines in the Sunday papers. Let's start with the City Press leading with white heat on Musi, referring to DA leader's Freedom Day message. It has senior leaders who fear he is alienating the party's traditional support base. We'll have some fun with that in a moment. We move on to the Sunday Independent leading with cash cow for Dudu cronies. They lined pockets as SAA bled millions. I'll just read one paragraph off of this. Former South African Airways board members were paid hundreds of thousands of rand in director's fees despite the national carrier suffering billions of rand in in losses and finally we take a look at the Sunday Times thank you very much <laughs> leading with showdown suspended SARS boss Tom Moyani heads for a bruising court duel with President Cyril Ramaphosa and uh, finally we have the Sunday world leading with controversial pastor Bushiri handing himself in to the police thank you that's so kind of you Tracy right <laughs> you can grab your cup of coffee and we get our discussion underway good morning Happy Happy Sunday, Hello. thanks for How joining us. I'm well, I'm well, thank you. you. Oh, thank you, so do you. Thank you. <laughs> I'll start with Kaya. Um, yesterday we saw the funeral of um, Akumzi Jizile as well as his friends. I think the news really shocking uh, South Africans when it initially came out. And just to watch the funeral yesterday and hearing details of how they passed away, it was just gut-wrenching. Well, absolutely, Dudu Zile. It was very gory details. The uncle really detailing that very horrific crash down in the Eastern Cape and how they died in this carnage. But also, more interestingly, getting so many friends, the peers, coming together to pay homage uh, to such a young, you know, star in the country. And also, they were reflecting on his personality, saying, I mean, he was such a bubbly person, he was full of energy, and a very versatile, you know, art practitioner. He was doing, you know, acting, presenting, script writing, directing. So essentially, somebody, the minister said, he was just not a shining star. Mm. So through and through, he was just a load star, excelling so brilliantly in his craft and also contributing, you know, being seen as a role model by young stars, you know, having played such a very instrumental role as a your TV presenter. So, and also, Duduzile, watching the mother, she was terribly gutted. I mean, she was distraught. She was sobbing. I mean, it was very emotionally charged. And obviously, I mean, the friends were saying they will continue to give her solace and making sure that, you know, she's comforted during this very trying mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. Tragic, tragic, mm -hmm. tragic indeed. Um, let's move on to take a look at the Sunday Independent, Conrad. Cash cow for Dudu Crone. I don't trust the no Sunday one like <laughs> I think they've got me as the Sunday Independent. Wait, what's wrong with they're, the Sunday They're a walking political position. I mean, all of these are, but the Sunday right. Independent, my goodness, wow, that's just... L L wow. Let's give Big them the benefit of the doubt. Uh, do me any being accused of lining her pockets along with some of the senior managers uh, given the state of affairs at South African Airways um, well there's backstory here mm. Chester used to work at South African Airways oh really was oh, he a what? pilot was or a cabin no, crew was, attendant? No, like legit like really? not a joke okay. Andre Fulun was the so he's got the juice and he can he's give us totally um, in on it but the, the I think the problem with South African Airways is, is it's just so close to governments they feel interfered with all the time so mm. it's you it's very hard to work out from that newspaper article, I'm joking about the Sun Independent, but it is very hard to work out, well, exactly how did that, uh, you know, that payment process go down? It's almost impossible to, to ascertain. And of course, I'm hoping now with uh, Pravin Gordon coming and things will mm. develop. But mm. yeah, do they, amazing that she's still getting money. Tracy, from the details that we have here, I mean, this is a lot of money that's being spoken about. 912,000 Rand for one person. Another person was paid 885,000 Rand. Can I just tell you something? Where do I look? <laughs> I cancelled the flight with you, SAA. I'm still waiting for my refund. Can you just pay me my refund? What please? happened? What happened with this SAA I flight? Acc I accidentally double booked a flight, and of 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 course I cancelled the flight because there's only one of me going right. onto the flight, right? Right. This was in March. 
Can we please talk about where my money is at? But well, what's the return policy? Was it not uh, no, return, your, so return your policy is that um, you would cancel the flight, they would request the, the, the refund, mm. and then within 7 to 21 working days, I'm just saying 22nd of March, come SAA, and still no come. You have to go to home affairs, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps you need like a bigger petition. We, we, we can sign, we can help you out, it's all good. Oh man, that's crazy, that is absolutely crazy. It is, wow, mm -hmm. what a wow. And given that the, 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 the turbulence that the, the, the national carrier is actually facing, it's, something doesn't make sense. Mm. Let's take a look at the Sunday Times. Showdown suspended SARS boss Tom Moyani heads for a bruising court duel with President Cyril Ramaphosa. This was always going to happen, Kaeli, because even when he was let go, he did indicate that he's not happy and it'll go where it goes, basically. Well, absolutely. I mean, this is a very defiant person. I remember the time when they were issuing out uh, the suspension. There was a bit of hesitation from his side. You know, he was trying to buy time and, you know, citing all sorts of things. But I think the saddest thing about SARS is that when you look at the, con the constitutional mandate of the institution, it's a very incredibly important institution. Mm. And for some time, it has had a reputation of being one of those well-run SOEs, you know, understanding the mandate. Obviously, we'll have few cases of mm. tax avoidance, right. but I mean, mm. with him being at the helm, we've seen this incredible regression in terms of their processes, a lot of laws flouted, and even the shortfall in terms mm. of the national fiscus. So I think it's, it's high time that he should really just go now and actually face the music in court. Should he humble himself? Absolutely. I mean, if you've read the President's Keepers, he's a cornerstone in the state capture conversation. I mean, he and apparently President Zuma hasn't paid uh, tax in, in decades. Mm -hmm. So, and Tomiani is definitely part of that, sidelining the files that, 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 you know, that, that, you know, there was that guy, what was his name? Pele? Ivan Pele. Ivan, Ivan Pele. Ivan Pele, who would sit down with the President and explain, this is, well, you know, we all got to pay tax. Mm. Even Takalani Gupta, you guy, mm. you got to pay tax. Mm. And Uncle Takalani Gupta pants was like, me for what? And right. then, and so, so, and Tom Miani uh, protected him from that. So it's remarkable to me that he's going to court. I think it's hilarious that he's getting uh, um, Dalian Poff was his lawyer. That's just fantastic. Yeah, just I mean, it adds like different dimension into it as to fantastic. why will, uh, I mean, Dali do it. But I mean, we know mm. in numerous times, whenever you ask him why, like for example, when you represented Gareth Cliff, like, he mm. always says, <laughs> I, I'm a professional, I, right. I just do this. So I, I just, you know, absent. <laughs> I've got no choices. <laughs> <laughs> I can't make choices. I'm just a robot hey, here. You can if you phone me, whatever you choose. Every forum next. Do it, Dali. Every forum. They Tracy, with the whole SARS uh, debacle, um, a side conversation has arisen uh, mm -hmm. where the South Africans are happy to pay tax to an institution like that. As a South African, do you have cause for concern and do you... Well, I'm not, I'm not going to put you on blast and ask you to pay your taxes. Ooh, but uh, you <laughs> <laughs> I'm an entertainer. I'm a but struggling is, is, entertainer. Is, Please don't Do you ask think me that there it. is something to it where people are saying, well, why should we? Because, I mean, look at everything that is happening there. Um, you know what? At the end of the day, I really do believe that there needs to be some sort of, um, like, on our part as citizens, we need to we need to contribute, right? Because mm. we want we don't want potholes. It's, it's you know we don't want to um, we want we want our public transport to be running smoothly and all of that and mm. all of that. So, at the end of the day, there is a um, there's a part that we have to play. But um, whether yeah, the price on that part sometimes you know right. sometimes. Right. Get and you want your money back from SAA? I want <laughs> my <laughs> money back. <laughs> that from campaign SAA. doesn't stop. Hashtag. <laughs> hey, on the lines note, before we wrap up this segment, um, social media going crazy with the the second season of Being Bonang. I'm not even gonna hide. My There's a second season, I wow. Love this woman. There is a second season. Wow. I haven't seen it. I don't have a TV. But, um, Kaya, have you mentioned to, have you managed to catch something or, you know, see something? What's the hype? What's the craze? For someone who hasn't even seen the show, who doesn't know what we're talking about. Well, I mean, certainly. I mean, it's, it's really not my cup of tea, do you? But, I mean, it's quite extraordinary that there's a second season. But, I mean, I, I think she's always, uh, you know, perceived as 
this you know um, fantastic person mm. and a lot of young people you know they look up to her mm. they call her Queen B mm. but I mean after the whole book debacle the whole mm. grammar issues I mean <laughs> it was quite a challenge for her so I think it's such a remarkable achievement that she has scooped a, a second season. <laughs> Tracy what's tickling you there? <laughs> okay then we won't get into it because I we're still... I love <laughs> Bonang. I absolutely love her. I think she is a force to be reckoned with. She is doing what she has to do to, you know, be on our screens and on the papers at all. She, she, she's, she's living her life and doing what she feels in her heart that she needs to do to, you know, stay relevant. Amen. And that's where we'll leave it. Come on, we take yes. a short break. You can grab your cup of coffee. <laughs> we'll be back with more after this. <laughs>